Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is the Easy QS channel. This is the channel where we deal with estimation and costing of building works together with other structures that are constructed. Uh, my name is Naomi, welcome so much to this channel. We have been looking at a new series whereby we have been calculating the quantity of materials that you require to do different types of work in a building project. We started by doing the calculating the quantity of materials we require when we are doing plastering walls. Then we did uh, the quantity of materials and together with the cost of those materials that we need when we are doing concreting. For example, uh, when we are doing a, a slab or a beam or a column. When you, you have a certain volume of concrete, so you are able to calculate the bags of cement that you need together uh, with the uh, quantity of sand that you require and the number of lorries of, of, of ballast. So if you haven't seen those videos, kindly check on the description box together with the playlist that is there on calculation of the quantity of materials. Uh, this uh, video was asked for by those people who are constructing houses. There are those of our students who have finished their coursework, they are out in the field, they had not got these concepts very well about how to, cal to calculate the quantity of materials that you require for specific jobs in the construction uh, process. And also, there are those people who are developing those are building their own houses and they want to get it accurately because you see with the economic times that we are in we do not want to buy uh, a lot of cement that will be surplus or uh, we buy a lot of sand which will be surplus on site otherwise that money could be used to buy something else so then because we do not want this wastage or buying surplus things that we do not require and we may not be able to dispose them to get them our money back we want to uh, estimate accurately. So the purpose of these videos is to help each and everyone who comes across these videos to estimate quantities of materials accurately and this will help a lot in saving money that could be uh, stored in when you buy materials that you do not need and also it will help you to do that other thing that you couldn't have done if there were some wrong estimations, all right? So uh, in today's video, we'll be calculating the number of boxes of tiles that we will be requiring together with the cement and sand that you require during tiling. Tiling is that process when we are placing the tiles on the floor. We are doing the floor finish using tiles. You have been seen houses which have tiles on the floor. Uh -huh. So those tiles were bought in, in boxes. When we are buying tiles, we buy them in boxes. For example, uh, the tiles, actually, the tiles come in different sizes. We have the 30 centimeters by 30 centimeter tiles. We have the 45 by 45 centimeter tiles. We have the 60 centimeters by 60 centimeter tiles. If you go to the uh, shop that sells tiles, they come in so many different sizes. So, in our today's video, we will be calculating the number of boxes of tiles when we are using the normal tile, which is the 30 by 30 centimeter tile. You can see this is the most commonly used tile, uh, especially in Kenya, and it's cheap. Uh, we want to know uh, how many boxes of tiles we shall require and what is the cost of these boxes of tiles. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, because we shall require mortar. That is the mixture of sand and cement to do the tiles on the floor. How many bags of cement we shall require and what quantity of sand we shall require. Alright, so this is interesting. I believe that this video will be so helpful to those people who are doing tiling. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe. We shall continue to bring content for you and I am sure that it shall be of great help. So that you can be able to see our next videos and you can be notified, uh, click on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video, you can just look at it. There is The, the more you look at them, this short, short video by the end of this series, you'll be able to calculate the, to estimate the 
to all the materials that you require to do your house so we do not want to see those projects that are stalling and uh, maybe a certain fundi told you that uh, you require one million to do a to bedroom house so you go take a loan of one million then start your building once you get to the roof it is stalls uh -huh. you do not have money to buy the windows and do the finishes we want to be able to calculate to estimate all these materials very accurately so that you can get the cost of the building very accurately so that you can be able to save a lot of money all right so welcome to this channel uh -huh. if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up and without further ado let's get to this video so uh, the area that we shall be considering for our tiling today is an area of 15 meters by 15 meters you see this room was 15 meters by 15 meters width so what is the area of this room the total area it's to 25 meters squared one tile we shall take uh one tile is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters all right so if here we are dealing with meters this the length of the tile in terms of meters it shall be 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 meters I hope that is clear so uh, to get the number of tiles that we require for the floor uh-huh we only require to take the total area of the floor divided by the area of one tile all right so uh, the total area of the floor is 225 meter squared the area of one tile is 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 0 0.09 meter squared okay so the number of tiles that you require for the floor shall be 225 meters squared divided by 0 0.09 and we shall get 2500 tiles but remember in a house we usually require to do scatting scatting is these tiles that we do to some height from the floor so that uh, it can protect the walls from getting dirty the scatting we usually raise the tiles by 15 centimeters if you look at a room where we have tiles go look at the walls there's some height that uh, this cut the tiles go up all right normally we use 15 centimeters so when we are calculating uh, the number of tiles we require we shall also consider the scatting all right so uh, for the scatting how do we get the area of the scatting we shall just require to take the perimeter of the floor then we shall multiply by the height of this scatting so what is the perimeter of this floor the perimeter of the floor perimeter is equal to two into bracket length plus wind kawaida the 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 kawaida formula it's the formula that we use uh, two into bracket length plus width so two into bracket the length is 10 meters and the width is 10 meters okay so the total perimeter is 40 meters okay so what is the area of this cutting the area of this cutting shall be 40 meters we multiply by 15 centimeters 15 centimeters in meters shall be 15 over a hundred so uh, the area of the scatting shall be six meters squared so we require six meters squared of tiles uh -huh, so that we can add to the other area of the tiles for the floor so how many tiles are these so if one tile is 0 0.09 meters squared what about six meters squared it shall be six meters squared divided by 0 0.09 and we shall get 66.67 tiles that is 67 tiles true all right so we shall take the total number of tiles on the floor plus the total number of tiles on the scatting all right so it shall be 2500 plus 67 and we shall get 2567 tiles okay so uh whenever we are doing tiling you know tiles are very fragile there is always wastage when it comes to tiling some tiles will break even before we start doing tiling but some some will even uh, break when they are getting transported so we will have to add five percent of the total tiles that you require purposely for wastage all right so we shall come and uh, add five percent of the total tiles that you require 
for wastage. So it was a hundred percent. A hundred percent was twenty five sixty seven. What about one of five percent? One of five percent of twenty five sixty seven shall be twenty six ninety five point three five. Okay. So the number of boxes which require shall be twenty six ninety six divided by seventeen. So it shall be one fifty eight point five nine boxes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, because one box has 17 tiles, so you want to know the cost, the number of boxes, because you know the cost per box. Do you know what So, to get the cost per of the tiles, we are required to take the total number of tiles, we divide by the number of tiles per box, then we multiply by the cost per box. Alright? So, we have divided by 17 to get the number of boxes. You see, you cannot buy 158.59 boxes in a hardware, so you require to round out it all to... 159 all right 159 boxes one box cost 950 shillings so it shall be 159 times 950 and we shall get the total cost of 150 one shillings okay so uh, we want now to know now that we know the cost of tiles that we require to make the tile stick on the floor we require mortar mortar is a mixture of cement and sand the ratio of cement and sand that we shall be using for doing the tiles is 1 is to 4. One bag of cement for volumes of equal sand. Okay? So, uh, the total volume that we shall need, it shall be, uh, the weight, it shall be called the weight volume. We say that the weight volume is that total volume that we shall require for the mortar when the water is already added okay so uh so we shall t to get the volume of mortar we shall take the area 15 by 15 then we shall multiply by the thickness of the mortar the thickness of the mortar when you are doing tiling is usually 20 centimeters so what is the thickness in terms of meters it shall be 15 times 15 times 0 0.20 okay so the total volume of wet mortar it shall be 45 meters cubed remember we said that whenever we are mixing cement and sand when it's dry the volume is bigger when we add water it shrinks by 33 percent so to get the dry volume of the mortar we shall take 133 percent of 45 and that three percent of 45 is 59.85 meter cubic, right? So that is the total dry volume of cement in sand. So to get the uh, number of bags of cement so that you can be able to know the cost of cement, we require to take mass is equal to density times volume. The total volume for the mortar is 59.85. So what is the volume of cement in that volume of dry uh, mortar? It shall be 1 over 5 times 59.85. That is the volume. We multiply by the density of cement, which is 1440, to get the mass of cement. Alright? So, if the mass of cement shall be 1440, which is the density of cement, we multiply by 1 over 5 of 59.85. And we shall get 172, that is 6.8 kg. So, how many bags of cement? One bag of cement equals 50 kg. One bag of cement is 50 kg. So, if one bag of cement is 50 kg, how many bags are 172? That is 6.8. You shall just divide. Alright, you get 344.74 bags. How many bags are those? It's 345 bags. If one bag of cement costs 800, how much is the cost of the cement? It shall be 800 times 345 bags. And it shall be 276 that was it, alright? So we want to know how many tons of sand do we require. We shall take mass is equal to density times volume. The density of sand is 1600. So uh, for the volume, it shall be uh, 4 over 5 of the dry volume, okay? So it shall be 1600 times 47.88 and we shall get 76, uh, 608 kg. So how many tons are those? 76 tons. So if you are buying sand using a lorry of 35 tons, how many rodents we will need? It shall be 76 divided by 35. So we shall get approximately 2 lorries of 35 uh, tons. So if we are given the cost of 1 lorry of sand, which is 35 tons, to be 50,000, how much will it cost for the sand? 
50 times two dollars it's a hundred thousand so it's a, it has been a long and interactive video which shows you how to calculate the cost of tiles the cost of cement and the cost of sand when you are doing tiling i hope it has been uh, interesting for you and you have learned something new if you have learned something just give this video a thumbs up like this video and also if you like our content kindly remember to subscribe that is the support that we require and we shall continue to make good content for you so we really appreciate you for watching thanks so much for watching we love you and we hope to see you in the next video